the meaning is that that air will go through it rather smoothly and this aluminum mass will accumulate the heat and when it's turning then there is an airflow in an other direction which will then in in, in its turn accumulate the heat which is charged in the aluminum now there's a shaft that is put over here there's a small electric motor of 5 watts that will rotate it and then it will be put into a cassette which also has to seal so that it is divided into two different parts. So that's the optimum thickness then for the, for the drum? Well, it depends. This is for a relatively high airflow. If I were to do this for a very small apartment, the studio for example, I would reduce the height of the wave and increase the amount of aluminum over here because pressure loss would not be a question and I would go for a higher efficiency in, in, in recovery. If in a, in, a, in a house or four bedrooms I would do the same thing then we would use more electricity for the ventilation fans. So it's, that's why you, you have to find the, the optimum for each solution. So heat, but heat recovery, maximum heat recovery would be expanding the size of the wheel? Uh, yes, but you have to have a phase velocity, a crossover here, which goes over a certain threshold. Right. So the, the, the recovery efficiency goes up like this and then slowly goes down. But it, if, you, if you have too little air going through a big wheel, you are not at optimum efficiency. So, so if, 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 if you don't have enough of air going over there, you are not at, at, at optimum efficiency. Do you increase the, let's say, the tightness the of the things, later as yes, the wheel expands? Yes, then expands? you increase the speed of the airflow also. Interesting. I would think that you are now almost qualified as an expert for that technology now. Probably <laughs> you know more about that than 99.99% of the people on 